Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, we had an election yesterday. <laughs> and uh, it was a good day, I think, for democracy. And I think it was a good day for America. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little horse. Our democracy has been tested in recent years, but uh, with their votes, uh, the American people have spoken and proven once again that democracy is who we are. The states across the country uh, saw a record voter turnout. And the heart and soul of our democracy, the voters, the poll workers, the election officials, uh, they uh, did their job uh, and they fulfilled their duty. And apparently without much uh, interference at all, without any interference, it looks like. And that's a testament, I think, to the American people. While we don't know all the results yet, at least I don't know them all yet, uh, here's what we do know. While the press and the pundits are predicting a giant red wave, uh, it didn't happen. And I know you were somewhat miffed by my, uh, my uh, obsessive optimism, but uh, I felt good during the whole process. I thought we were going to do fine. While any seat lost is painful, some good Democrats didn't win the last night. Democrats had a strong night. And we lost fewer seats in the House of Representatives than any Democratic president's first midterm election in the last 40 years. But the voters were also clear that they are still frustrated. I get it. I understand it's been a really tough few years in this country for so many people. And let me say this. Regardless, regardless of what the final tally in these elections show, and there's still some counting going on, I'm prepared to work with my Republican colleagues. The American people have made clear, I think, that they expect Republicans to be prepared to work with me as well. I think the American public wants us to move on and get things done for them. And, uh, you know, I heard that there were, uh, it was reported, whether it's accurate or not, I'm not sure, but it was reported many times that Republicans were saying, and the former president said, how many times are you going to impeach Biden? You know, impeachment proceeding against Biden. I mean, I think, the, I think the American people will look at all of that for what it is. It's just I'm almost comedy. I mean, it's uh, — but, you know, look, I can't control what they're going to do. All I can do is continue to try to make life better for the American people.